What does Tesla Autopilot even do? So with Tesla Autopilot, there's three different versions. The base Autopilot or standard Autopilot that comes with all Teslas is essentially smart cruise control. Once you set your spot in line, it keeps you a distance from the cars in front of you, keeps you at a speed that you want to go at, and stops you from varying in and out of your lane. Pretty straightforward, but super convenient when you're driving on the freeway. It also works on city streets. Anywhere there's lines in the road, it can pick up and keep you within them, but it has to have those lines. The second one is called Enhanced Autopilot, and that's an upgrade from Standard Autopilot or Base Autopilot, and that allows you to do a little bit more. It will actually change lanes when you ask it to, and so it can move back and forth to keep you on the fastest path on the highway or get you off at an exit or somewhere where you're trying to go if you have navigation turned on. The next one is the one most people think of when they consider a Tesla for autopilot, and that's full self-driving. Full self-driving is a bit of a misconception in that it doesn't do everything for you. You've got to keep your hands on the wheel. You've got to keep your eyes looking forward, but you can relax a few of those things for certain periods of time before it beeps at you, barks at you, or disengages. While you're doing those things, what it will do for you is if you put in an address, it will take you in and out of the lanes, on and off the ramps, it will stop at stop signs, it will stop at stop lights, and if you've got the beta version, it will turn left and right. So it'll get out into the intersection, wait for cars to go and turn left. It'll get to the stop sign, wait and turn right. But here's the biggest difference. With the full self-driving autopilot beta, you don't need lines in the road anymore. So you can do it in your neighborhood, on side streets, or any streets that don't have lines. Now you can engage self-driving.